What's going on everybody? It's Release Hair Duels here. Today we're going to do something kind of special that I don't usually ever have time to do. We're going to be taking on a request from one of my subscribers. So right here, Usama Alosfer uh, uh, requested to make a Red Eyes uh, budget build. So we're going to check that out. Sorry for the noise in the background there. Um, so yeah, so here's what I came up with. I'm sorry if it's kind of still your price range, buddy. Um, I just happened to get lucky pulls. I wasted a lot of my dream tickets on some parts of this deck, like my Buster Whelp. So, um, yeah. Thing is, is uh, Buster Whelp is pretty crucial to this deck. So, I put in two of those, two of the Swordsman Fusions. You kind of have to go all in when it comes to uh, certain things with this deck. So, um,. Especially with Buster Blader, it's kind of hard to play with just like one Buster Blader, you know? So I'm circumventing that by doing another uh, Super Team Buddy Force because it can summon it out from the graveyard. But let's just get into this thing, you know? We're going to do, be doing some KC Cup today, y'all. I also have a, I don't ever really mention this either, is like I also have an Instagram. If you guys want to follow it, it's uh, this one right here. D Duelist, if, just in case you guys want to follow, I don't know. I, don't, I rarely post on there, but I'll probably post more of my my life stuff once it like kind of takes off. I'm barely on that thing, so. This game might be a wash because we're probably playing against dragons, and you already know that Buster Blader hates dragons. Um, we'll put myself right here in the middle. So all we need to do is draw a Buster Blader. So let's see here. We're playing against, oh. Playing against sub -terrors. I haven't seen them in a really long time. So he has 1,400. Defense. Sure. Whatever. Okay. I got the whelp. Um, let me read what this does real quick. Turn it to my hand. So it's any monster. Um, I think what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to thin out the deck a bit. There we go. We'll set Super Team Buddy Force, all that good stuff. There we go. So he doesn't have the final battle because it didn't flip up, so... That's good to know. Okay, this thing gains like... Oh. That's yucky. Well, at least he doesn't have final battle. That's always a good thing. Yuck. We already lost. <laughs> we got smoked. Nothing we can do there. That's that's a wash right there. Okay. On to the next one. We always lose the first duel. Don't worry. I just have a bad habit of always losing the first duel for some reason. Especially with these um, more unorthodox builds. But we'll probably end up clearing some house right now. I completely forgot about sub terror though. Like that's a uh, that's probably still a pretty decent deck. All right. So we got two parts of the Buster Blade combo here. We just need to draw. We have a four in nineteen chance to draw. Which, if you use the, the math brain, that's like what. Uh, one in five, so 20%. Math. Math, right there. Okay. Insight. Um, so let's dump Wyvern. And then we will grab Fusion. We'll blow our Fusion, and then we'll start doing some other things. I don't know. And I do have two Slash Dragons in here just because um, 
you can pull a slash dragon from a from a box and like most boxes if you run through them one time are kind of free to play for the most part so so we'll see the dna the econ will move myself out of the way get into this action here okay what the This guy's actually playing a, a Goodwin deck. Interesting. Okay. We do want to draw the fusion. I mean, Econ's fine too, I guess. But let's just go in there again. Um, no, we don't need a Wyvern right now. We can save our Wyvern to draw, uh, to grab our, um, Slash Dragon just in case we need to later. Okay. Um, so we have full combo pretty much. We can set the Retro. I don't really want to. Yeah, let's just go in. Let's see. Do we have a drowning? Maybe. Okay. Some artifact stuff. He's gonna blow up all his back row. Whoa, he's playing artifacts. What? That's so cool. Um. Cannot be targeted by card effects until it ends. Okay. So let's smack, let's give her that big shield. There we go. But now he has a uh, synchro play, potentially. But we do have Econ. So we, this game might potentially be over right now though. Because we might just Econ his thing. Let's see if he draws it. Up oh, here comes something. Double tribute. Sure. Is this if it's destroyed? If this monster leaves the field, except I am. Okay. So you can hit us in the face. We're gonna econ just to make room for our thing. There we go. He might have enough damage for his nuts, but we'll see. There we go. So what does this do again? So if... Uh, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks. And if you do, it's like 800. So what we'll do is this. We're gonna get rid of that. He's gonna burn us for 1600. So we're gonna get rid of that thing. He'll burn us for 1600. Um, and then we will econ. We'll econ this thing, grab that to blow it up. There we go. Get that buster blader out. And then we can activate that. So let's bring out Retro Dragon. Uh, bring out Insight. Okay. Set that thing. And then... Uh, what is it? Tribute? Okay. Nothing relevant. There we go. There we go! So 
See, I told you, we don't, we usually lose the first game in these things. Alright. I better get a nice, that was some good misplay, that was some good, uh, dueling right there. So the reason why I use Econ was to, I snatch up his monsters so that way his other monsters effect blew up his monster. And then since Slash Dragon got destroyed by a card effect, we brought out our Buster Blader and then just pure, we didn't pierce nuts, we just smash his nuts. Um, I kind of want to save this Red Eyes Slash attack because I don't have any equips, it's just going to be dead on field. So hopefully it doesn't bite me too bad. And then hopefully he only plays one back row. Okay. Um, I think we are going to pop it here. Because I don't like back row. Cool. It's a decent card. So let's just red eyes. Do, do, do. So we're gonna send our Buster Blader, our Slash. There we go. We'll set this because we have two of them, and then we'll go in. There we go. Okay. So now he could um, make a synchro because it's damn. Oh no. Huh. I thought that was the other one. I was thinking of the other. It's like glow up bulb. Sure. He's gonna synthesize. That's weird that he's playing that because usually they don't run big uh, zombies in this deck. But we'll see. Unless he has level... Okay. That thing. So he's going to make level 8. Level 8 will be like 3,800 attack or something. Uh, no, 48. Uh, when this is banished, target one. Oh, to your hand. Okay. So we're going to lose 18 here. But we will have Buster Blader, so we, we just need a DNA surgery. So we'll bring up Buster Blader. And then we'll go here, and then we will, they usually don't run any Karibo or anything, so we're just going to Econ take, and try to blow up his nuts. The safer play would have been to just set it, yeah, but see, he didn't, he doesn't have anything. The safer play there would have probably been to set the Econ, and then, or maybe just like switch his uh, dude there to defense, and then just run it over, but it's all good. Yeah, it would have been setting it to defense, and then we would have had an activation of uh, Destruction Sword Slash or whatever. Destruction Sword Fusion, just to protect our monster potentially. Potentially, it's just a lot of the Shiranui synchros, two of them don't target, so you had been wrecked either way. Alright, and then if we level up here, we're going to call it a day and thank our subscriber. Thank you guys out there for watching, you know, I really appreciate it. Love doing this stuff when I have free time. I'm going to have free time pretty soon once... All my other work stuff is done. 
So hopefully he doesn't have a Necro Valley. But it doesn't matter either way. Maybe it does. We might just need... Uh, <laughs> we might just need DNA surgery here. That damn back row. Ooh. Hate that card. Alright. Ooh. What are we going to do here? This is a hard one because we have like a weird hand. So I think what we're going to do is send Wyvern... And then we have the option to save the double cyclone for that. I think we're going to have to save it for his, uh, his back row card. The one that he has in hand because that one's going to prevent all special summoning. So it's quite a pain. Um, so we will send that, send that. We'll just leave it like that, like, oops, that was an accident. And then we're going to set this and this. All right. Now, the goal here is we got to hopefully not lose DNA surgery. And not, not, not DNA surgery, um, our back row, and not get OTK'd. So that's the goal. So we're going to be able to stall for one turn. Okay. Yeah, the throne here is pretty annoying. Uh, DNA surgery. Uh, damn it. Oh, that's odd that we can't do... Oh, because this stupid thing's on the field. So we're just going to set that. And our turn. We really need to get this off the field. So what this does when you have Necro Valley on the field is neither player can special summon except Gravekeepers. So it's pretty obnoxious. Um, sure. He's going to keep piling on cards. We need the heart of the cards to get DNA surgery. And then this might just be a wrap. Usually they only play one hidden temple most of the time. And like that's okay. Doesn't really help at all. Ooh. So I think we're gonna pop it here. Whoa, grass. Okay, so let's double cyclone this back row here. Get rid of that. There we go. Oh, God. Another one. Another one. Even bigger. That's odd that he did that, though. I would have thought for sure he had Quintet Magician. Whatever. Whatever. We just need DNA surgery. Okay. Come on, DNA surgery. Damn it. Um. 
We're just gonna set whelp. We need DNA surgery. I know I'm saying it a lot, but that's gonna pretty much blow him out of the, the game. Okay. Or actually, I think we messed up. We could have sent uh, his monster to the graveyard. Oh, shoot. Uh, this might be toast. Jesus. So 12, 32. Yeah, the Necro Valley really, really is terrible. Hmm. Well, we have Super Buddy for us. So maybe we'll do that. Because maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll tribute his, uh, Supernaturalist. And we might have a chance, but pretty slim. Hmm. Yeah, that's game. Ooh. All right, we'll do one more. Like I said, this deck isn't optimal. This is mostly just a beer request, so we're like two and two right now. Let's try to, let's, let's go for double or nothing, I guess. As they say, even though we're not spending any money. Okay, heroes. Oh, and we still get a chance to, to rank up, so that's pretty nice. All right, let's see the hand. And we're going second, awesome. Hmm. We probably can run one Swordsman Fusion now that I think about it. <laughs> but let's see here. Comes Neos Fusion. Ugh. So a DNA surgery would be optimal here. That that works too. So let's make our slash. Bang bang. We got econ. Set that. So he has Bacon Saber, that's fine. <laughs> what could he make that would really, he can make like uh, Trinity. Okay. So what do you send back? The the keeper of dragon magic? Woo! Yep, keeper. But the things are the same. Oh, because he has Neos Fusion. Mm-hmm. 
sure. Oh, Jesus. He pulled both Neos Fusions and Miracle Contact. Good lord. Uh, what does this do? Once per turn, you can target one face to destroy the target and the play. Okay. Okay. Sure. So we're going to just econ that. Or do we want to? Uh, yeah, probably. So he can crash into us and use his um, Neos Fusion in the graveyard. Okay. Master Blader. Um, so we can make a level eight. Oh no, we can't. That's with a uh, slash dragon. Um, I think what we're gonna do is set the whelp. And then we will crash into uh, Jinzo. I do want to blow this thing here. Because we only have one, um, we only have one Buster Blader fusion to use, so kind of screwed. Seven hundred thirty-one. Yeah, we didn't we don't have a good out right now. Um, let's see. What can we do here? Um, traps are off. It's gonna depend on our spell cards. Hmm. Man, that freaking Jinzo really did us in. Oh, Lord, that's game. Well, that's unfortunate. So we went two and three with a kind of budget deck. Um, I probably can build it a little bit better, but... That's going to be it for today. I'm going to put together a, another couple of videos of the decks I've been playing in the KC Cup. But here you go. I mean, it works pretty well. You know, there's some things that you do need a little bit more because you're kind of hindered by only summoning, like, one Swordsman and the one Slash. So, like, the Red Eyes deck does need three copies of Fusion, unfortunately. So I would suggest, you know, if you end up saving up some money to get a couple of the structure decks if you really like the red eyes deck it is coming back there's a lot of support that came out recently so that's gonna be it for today as always love you guys thank you for watching deuces <coughs>